Top Tips for Easier Sheepdog Training Part 5 Are Your Sheep Suitable? One of the most common cries for help that we received at the Working Sheepdog website is from people who are trying to start their dog on the wrong type of sheep. By the wrong type of sheep I'm not really talking about individual breeds, although that can make a difference. What I mean is sheep that are not used to being worked by dogs. The same applies to a slightly lesser extent to cattle, goats and other livestock. Just as the dog sees the animals as prey, so the livestock sees any dog as a predator and sheep in particular which are not used to being worked by dogs will be terrified when first confronted by one. At the least they'll run away from it, they're quite likely to panic and become uncontrollable. If the sheep keep running or scatter, it's extremely difficult for an untrained dog to bring them under control. It's hard enough for a trained dog to control them, so how can you expect an untrained dog to do it? It's like trying to teach a child to read using a complex legal document as its first reading material. Sheep learn very quickly that a dog who approaches in a calm, steady and predictable manner can be respectfully and calmly obeyed in perfect safety. Whereas a dog moving fast and unpredictably is likely to be greatly feared. The sound effects are from some cattle behind me. An unpredictable dog will cause panic among the sheep, further exciting the dog which in turn will cause still more panic. It's not usually difficult to obtain sheep that are used to being moved with dogs. And if you really want to make starting your dog easier, find yourself some dog sheep. As the name suggests, dog sheep are very tolerant of dogs because they're used to having dogs around them. They can often be obtained from people who do a lot of sheepdog training, such as sheepdog trials competitors and professional sheepdog trainers. Really dogged sheep are dog weary. They're so used to having dogs run round them that they simply stay very close to each other and try not to move at all. Often they'll crowd round the handler's legs because they've learned that that's where the handler's best able to protect them from the dog. We once had sheep that were so dogged that if we walked into the field with a dog they'd run straight up the field to our legs. Sheep like this can be excellent for getting a young dog started, but once the dogs learn to go round them, their lack of fear of the dog can become a nuisance. For instance, as the dog's training progresses, you'll want to teach it to do an outrun and bring the sheep to you. If the dog's going to do an outrun, the sheep must be some distance away from the dog, so you need to stop the dog and wait a few moments for the sheep to move away. Undogged sheep will run away immediately, so you need to send the dog off quickly before they get too far away. But dogged sheep will stay where they are. To get around this problem, I teach the dog to come away with me. Then if the sheep won't go away, I call the dog away from the sheep to create some distance for the outrun. So while heavily dogged sheep can be wonderful for getting a dog started in its training, very soon you'll want animals that prefer to get away from the dog, but not wild ones. If your sheep are not dogged and you can't buy or borrow some sheep, another approach is to ask someone with a trained dog to come and work your sheep a few times to help settle them down. Many trainers, especially sheepdog trialers, welcome the opportunity to work their dogs on different sheep and in different locations to get the dog used to working away from home. It also broadens the dog's mind, so ask around or visit small local sheepdog trials and ask there. People can be very helpful if you talk to them. It's not just flighty sheep that you need to avoid though. Aggressive sheep can ruin a young dog's confidence and if they attack it they might seriously injure it. Big heavy breeds of sheep can sometimes be aggressive with dogs, but the worst offenders are probably used with lambs. Whatever the breed, used with lambs can be difficult for skilled dogs 
and near impossible for young trainees. Watch the tutorial, Sometimes Nice Is Not Enough, and The Dog's Confidence for more about coping with difficult sheep or cattle. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more of them in future, use the subscribe button. And of course, click the like button too. If you'd like to get a better understanding of your dog and have full access to over 70 tutorials which will help you to train it to work sheep or cattle, go to the Working Sheepdog website and sign up.